In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to mount the E2 oxygen concentrator and make the oxygen connections. The first thing you'll do is clamp the two U-bolts of the E-Tank manifold to the pole. The best height would be 26 and a half inches from the base to the bottom U-bolt. We'll remove the T-handle from the left side of the machine as we won't need that to mount the E2 concentrator. Next, we'll uh, lift the E2 oxygen concentrator and you'll notice inside of here there's a little nipple that sticks down. That will slide up over the yoke and fall down in place like so. Next we're going to attach the uh, oxygen inlet T like so and this needs to be wrench tight. If it is not wrench tight and there's a leak here, uh, the oxygen concentrator won't be able to keep up and overcome the leak, so your percentages will be much lower than they should be. Next, we'll connect the uh, oxygen concentrator hose to one inlet to the T. And again, this needs to be wrench tight. There can't be any leaks here. And the other end to the back of the unit. Next, we'll connect our oxygen e-tank supply to the other input. Again, that has to be wrench tight. And then we come off our regulator for the tank here. Next, we'll attach our uh, oxygen e-tank. Slides into position there. It's keyed, so you can't get it wrong. Uh, if you ever lose power, you're in an emergency, you want to know that this tank is full and ready to go. Then you can reach down, open the tank, and you've got what you need to continue.